welcome everyone to the Computation and Journalism Symposium for 2016. Uh, I just learned this morning that it's the fifth symposium. The first one was in 2008, the next one was in 2013, 14, 15, and now 16. So it's really exciting to be able to throw this here at Stanford. Uh, I'm Manish Agrawala. I am a professor of computer science here at Stanford. Uh, and also the director of the Brown Institute for Media Innovation uh, at Stanford. Um, and I am also very lucky to be the co-chair of this conference along with Jay Hamilton. Uh, and uh, we just wanted to take a moment to welcome you to the conference and also to mention that we have a fantastic schedule lined up for the next two days, uh, keynote speakers, uh, paper presentations, panels, uh, it's, uh, it's going to be great. Um, before I turn it over to Jay, I just wanted to take a moment to uh, thank our sponsors for the 2016 event. Uh, the sponsors include the Brown Institute for Media Innovation, uh, the Stanford uh, School of Journalism, uh, the Stanford Computational Journalism Lab, uh, the uh, Journalism uh, JSK Knight Fellowships, the Google News Lab, and uh, the Scranton Gillette Communications. And with that, I'm going to turn it over to Jay. Thanks, Manish. Uh, I'd like to start with several thank yous. The first is to uh, the people formerly known as the audience, which is you. I really appreciate uh, the fact that you are here. If you look at the conference schedule, we're focused on uh, two big questions. How do you lower the cost of discovering stories with better use of data and algorithms? And how do you tell uh, stories in more personalized and engaging ways? Those are questions that run throughout the research of the uh, JSK Fellowships programs, the Brown Institute for Media Innovation, the Stanford Computational Journalism Lab, and I'm really thankful that over the next two days we'll get to go deeply into those questions. Second thank you is to the people who organized the first four versions of this. In 2008, Irfan Essa at Georgia Tech had the vision to uh, start a conference called Computation and Journalism. It was held twice at Georgia Tech. The last two years it's been at the Columbia Journalism School. Mark Hansen did stellar work uh, organizing those and so in a sense, we are here today because of those first four conferences and the work of the conference committee. So I'd like to thank them. And then the third thank you goes to uh, Jeff Hancock. Jeff is going to be our keynote speaker. He is a professor of communication at Stanford and directs the Stanford Computational uh, Center in Computational Social Science. He does work on the psychology of social media. He looks at empathy and trust. His uh, TED Talk has been viewed over a million times on deception. And he really works on a variety of questions. Questions like, how does emotion travel across Facebook? Or is that Yelp review that you read really real? Or if you're having knee surgery, is it better to be texting with a family member or a stranger? And I'm not sure if knee surgery led him into studying the presidential debates, but uh, the work he's going to be talking about today deals with deception and uh, political language. It's truly computational journalism because over the last several months, Jeff has been using uh, computational analysis and collaborating with CNN to look at the language used by the major party candidates. So the work that you're going to see Jeff present today will actually be uh, presented on CNN in October. So please join me in welcoming Jeff Hancock. 